Ever feel exhausted right after eating? Or constantly crave carbs and sugar no matter how much you eat? What if I told you these aren't just random feelings, but could be your body sending out an SOS? Today we're diving into the science of something called insulin resistance, a silent condition that affects millions. Okay, let's start with the basics. Think of insulin as a key. When you eat, your body breaks down food into glucose, which is your main source of energy. Insulin's job is to unlock your cells, letting that glucose inside to be used for fuel. It's a perfect system when it works, but what happens when the locks get rusty? That's insulin resistance. Your cells start ignoring insulin's knock. They become resistant. Panicked, your pancreas works over time, pumping out more and more insulin, yelling, hey, open up. For a while, this brute force approach works, but eventually your pancreas can't keep up. The glucose has nowhere to go, so it builds up in your blood. This is the slippery slope that can lead to prediabetes and, eventually, type 2 diabetes. So what's happening on a microscopic level? Inside your cells, insulin is supposed to trigger a chain reaction that sends out special glucose transporters, called GLUT4, to the cell's surface to grab the glucose. But with insulin resistance, that internal communication breaks down. The signal gets lost and the transporters never get the message. The main culprits? Well, a few things. Excess body fat, especially that stubborn visceral fat around your organs, is a big one. It releases inflammatory molecules that literally block insulin signals. It's like having a bouncer at your cell's door that won't let the key insulin get to the lock. Add in a sedentary lifestyle, a diet high in processed foods and chronic stress or poor sleep, and you've got the perfect storm for this metabolic chaos. And the symptoms? They're sneaky. It's that post-meal fatigue, the brain fog that makes it hard to focus the intense cravings for sweet or starchy foods, and the unexplained weight gain, especially around your belly. It's even linked to things like PCOS in women and low testosterone in men, plus a higher risk for heart disease and fatty liver. Now I know this sounds heavy, but here's the really important part. In its early stages, insulin resistance is often reversible. You're not destined for disease. You can change the locks. Simple, powerful lifestyle shifts can make a world of difference. Regular exercise, even just a daily walk, makes your cells more sensitive to insulin. Swapping processed junk for a balanced diet rich in fiber, lean protein, and healthy fats stabilizes your blood sugar. And never underestimate the power of a good night's sleep and managing your stress. So if you're feeling that crash after you eat or can't shake the sugar cravings, listen to your body. It might be trying to tell you something important. It's a wake-up call to take back control of your metabolic health, one healthy choice at a time.